Hey y'all, got a little topic I like to just kind of touch base on. I know too many people that don't do this that should. Can you guess what it is, guys? Can you guess? Here's what it is. Preventive maintenance, you know, like uh, pretty much check through all your stuff before you jump on your bike and go. Now, I know, I know there's too many people out there that I know that they just, when it's time to ride, they just get on their bike and, and go. All right, I'm going to tell you what you guys should do before any even if you're just going out around the block, you know, don't matter how short of a drive you're going or how long, it's good practice to do this every time because, you know, if you do this, it could prevent you from breaking down and being stuck on the side of the road. All right, number one, what I do, first thing when I plan on going out on a ride, first thing I do is I'll check the oil, you know. You can't check it with it on its kickstand. You need to have it sitting straight up. You look through your sight glass. If you got a sight glass, and make sure it's full or make sure it's in the right, you know, most of them have a low bar and a high bar. Make sure it's either in the middle or at the full part. Don't overfill it. You know, if it needs oil to it, add to it. If it don't, it's fine. Number two, second thing I do is I check air pressure in my tires. You know, I don't, I don't really know what the tire calls for, but I run 31 or 32 in my rear, and I run 31 or 32 in my front. I'm pretty sure I'm, it's 32. That gives me the best of both. You know, it makes it work. You know, if you want to do a wheelie or whatever, your tire is not completely rounded, so, but it's not completely flat in the middle neither. So, for me, that's that's where I ride with mine. All right, that's number two. Number three, I check all my lights and my turn signals. Turn signals ain't a big deal because you still got, you know, the hand motions for turn signals that are still legal. But uh, uh, number three is check your headlights, your brake lights. Make sure them both work. Number four, if you got a chain driven bike or, or a belt driven, check check and see how much slack is in it. If it needs adjusted, adjust it. You know, I know they say on sport bikes, you know, you're supposed to check and adjust every five to 600 miles. Well, I usually have to adjust mine about every, about every 700, I have to turn it just a little bit to, to tighten it up just a tad bit. But that is the fourth thing I do, you know. Make sure that the fifth thing is make sure you got enough fuel to get where you're going if you ain't got enough fuel to get to a gas station you know i'm sure there's plenty of people out there that's ran out of fuel and then you're then what you're just stuck until someone brings you some fuel or you're pushing your bike somewhere you know that's that's the five basic things you need to do you know there's too many people out there i've seen that just jump on their bikes get going you know get five ten miles down the road and realize they got a flat tire because you know what they didn't check their tire pressure one before they left was the is the number one reason you know sometimes yeah you might run over something and that's what's going to lead me into the second part of this the second part of this is i learned this the other day uh basic essentials that you need to take if you're going on you know further than 15 20 miles from your house uh we have these uh, tail bags for our bikes now. That way we can carry all of our stuff in it, you know. You ain't got to carry a backpack on your back, so that's extra weight off of you. Anyway, long story short, uh, carry your basic essentials. You know, my bike didn't come with a tool kit because I bought it used. My wife's bike didn't come with a tool kit, so I got a basic set of um, Allen, Allen keys in mine. And then I got uh, kind of like a Swiss Army knife type deal where it's got the pliers, screwdriver, you know, stuff like that. And then I got a, a small crescent wrench. That way, if I do get stuck on the side of the road, you know, I got a little bit of tools to kind of help me out. Another thing to have with you that's good essentials is to have uh, extra fuses. Find out what kind of fuses your bike takes, if it takes the minis or the regulars or whatever. Put you a couple fuses in there. You never know, you might blow a fuse for your headlights or something and you and you gotta have one. So, have extra fuses. Um, let's see here. 
I got me some pen and some paper in there, you know, if anything ever happens, an accident or something, to get people's information down. I have that. Uh, no, it wouldn't hurt for you to for you to even take like a uh, a thermal one of them little packaged thermal blankets, you know, especially if it's like a colder day. You know, you break down. You know, yeah, you're gonna have your gear on, but hey, that thermal blanket will help send a message with it or something. You know, just take a few things out there just in case. You know, a lot of places that we ride, uh, there's not cell phone service, so like. When we go to the Dragon or the Skyway or places in the mountains, we don't have any cell phone service. So if you go by yourself, you kind of just screwed unless somebody sees you. That's why we always ride, or I always ride, at least with one other person. You know, that way somebody's with you if, if anything ever did happen. That's riding smart and safe. You know, a lot of people might not agree with me. I ride solo sometimes, but I'll stick to like closer to town. I won't venture off in the mountains because like I said, if you know, anything ever did happen, no one would probably see you or find you if something did. Um, but yeah guys, like I said, please save yourself a headache one day from maybe breaking down one day and start doing a, a walk around and check on your bikes every time you go out on it. I don't care if you just rode it, you know, on a Monday and it's a Wednesday, go over everything again. You might have sprung an oil leak, you know. There's all kinds of things. You want to check your brake shoes, make sure your brake pads are there, that you ain't riding on metal. You know, make sure you ain't blow no fork seals or have anything leaking onto your brakes. You know, check the condition of your tires. That's about all I got on this one, guys. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of videos out here about like the walk arounds. And I could do a follow-up video on actually me actually walking around my bike if you guys would like. Uh, comment below and let me know what you guys think. Um, until the next one, guys. Peace.